What is up, boys? Uh, we are back here with another OTS Tournament Pack 25 opening. I feel like this Tournament Pack is... I mean, it's not the greatest for sure, but it's not that bad. And the fact that the, the ultis are three monsters kind of makes it a little bit better, in my opinion, because uh, typically if they put spells and traps, they don't do that well unless they're like bangers, like forbidden droplets. Um, but yeah, I mean, anyways, let's go ahead and see how many ultis we can do this time around. In the previous video, it was uh, only one ulti, one ulti, but I did pull one off camera. So I guess, you know, two ulties down from this uh, 100 pack box. All right, starting off with Serpentine Princess, Humid Winds, and then uh, Delta. Delta was pretty shorted in the other packs, so we'll see if we can pull a little bit more Delta because it's also one of the more expensive supers and kind of seeing some buyouts. Um, so yeah, we'll see what we can do in that regard. White Prince. The um, Skull Servant cards getting high printings in here, at least. It's kind of odd because they're not really doing much. And I feel like this that's one of the big problems with the the, the tournament pack uh, packs. It's just like you should probably pick stuff that's actually topping in tournaments, Konami, and not uh, stuff that you think is cool. Like, um, I mean, Exodia isn't topping, at least not yet. Maybe it might with the new support it's getting soon, but it isn't yet, so... Um, or if it's not topping, at least seeing some representation or some fan... Uh, like, fan favorites that are actually being played currently. Like, I know Skull Guardian, Skull Servants is a fan favorite, but I don't think they're being played currently. Um, anyway, so Dino Mondo. Like, a per perfect example would actually be Ubel. They should have included... Uh, an ulti you bell in here for sure. Like, faux show. Utopic, Automatopoeia. Oh, boy, I skipped the Kiyobi, but Soul Release. Hell yeah, let's go. Super rare. Soul Release as an ulti would have been interesting, too. I kind of just want to see the texture. It wouldn't have been a good ulti pick. I just kind of want to see it in uh, in the foiling. Uh, okay, so Infernoid Token. Okay. We're back with the tokens. I think there was one tournament pack where they they did something weird instead of a token. It was, uh, man, why am I blanking on it? But it wasn't a token. And then they kind of also took a break in certain in other tournament packs from tokens. So I'm glad they went back uh, to the token meta, if you will. Because I actually did think they, they ran out of uh, tokens. That's why they weren't printing anymore. That is not the case. All right, so no ulti yet. Holy man, we need a couple ultis. So there is a chance that the box could just have uh, like four ultis. And that is, like that has happened to me. It's an unfortunate case. Um, and I, I hope it doesn't happen to me again. <laughs> I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy is what I'm trying to say here. Fusion tag. All right. All right. Come on. Let's see what we can do here. We need some ultis. Blessed wins. Bless these. Uh, bless these packs. Full armored exceeds. All right. All right. And then, what else we got here? Delta being shorted in here is also kind of interesting, because I mean it is a decent card, but also oh okay there we go another ult, another Delta at least. But the like why would you short stuff in Termin packs? Like, that's just really scummy. In my opinion, from Konami, because these are these are prizes. Like I shouldn't be buying these, but you know people are selling them, so of course I'm going to buy them for the channel. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it is pretty a pretty scummy thing for Konami to do, but what are you going to do? They do a lot of scummy stuff. Infernoid token. Okay. I also kind of don't like. I for, I forgot what tournament pack. It might be this one where they switched it so the. The higher rarity card is in the back or in the front. And there we go, Exodia, the Forbidden One, obliterate the the foiling is actually real. The body is huge, no doubt, but the foiling on on the uh, I don't know the what would you call that the it's like the spellbinding circle. I don't, I don't know the the thing the circling in and uh, trapping Exodia. It's 
really shiny. I, I don't think the camera can really do it justice either, but that is pretty nice. Actually, it's pretty clean too. The centering looks pretty decent. Let's see the back. The back isn't the best, but everything else, uh, actually the back is pretty, pretty scuffed now that I really look at it. It ain't, it ain't that bad. People were, I think, too quick to disregard Exodia. Like, it was 20 bucks not that long ago because people were disregarding it. Uh, White Princess, uh, Gen X. Gen X, I think, is because of the, uh, the reprints that we're getting in, in the new Battles of Legends set, which I am not buying too deeply into because it's that set is just eating for me. White Prince, hell yeah. Let's go. All right, come on. Can we do... I do want six alties in this box. Can we do that? Because that is actually, I mean, that's doable. That, that ain't greedy. That's pretty pretty standard, actually. Psy Frame Gore, say, Gore, El Gore, Psy, Psy El Gore Delta. Oh, man. He's going to warn you about global warming and shit. All right. Humid Winds, uh, Dino, Dino Mundo. Actually, we do have a lot more packs here. I was I was gonna say we're winding down, but oh my god, we are not. I I, I picked a a decent handful of packs. I still have some in the box that I kind of plan on doing uh, doing shorts with. So I mean, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll just open them up all the all them up in this video. But uh, I do like trickling down because obviously buying buying stuff like this is expensive. And if I can do multiple videos, that would help out uh, immensely. All right. Come on, man. Diviner of the Herald, I wouldn't mind uh, pulling more of that than the other ones. But, I mean, I don't I don't know. Maybe I am just becoming a, uh, a, wife addict, a waifu addict at this point. The In Rarity Collection 2, that's all I was hunting. Waifus, basically. And, and now in, in, in this set as well. So... God dang, it's a it's a disease, guys. Put me down like a rabid dog. Uh, White princess. All right, all right. Come on, come on. Let's see, ulti. That is an ulti, though. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, so. Okay, so the way you can tell, by the way, guys, because yeah, so you see how that indentation is like a perfect square almost. That goes in line with the square of the picture. It's just the way these alties go. Uh, Konami just ruins the heck out of them when they press onto the uh, the card. Um, anyway, so what is this? All of them are effect monsters, but uh, is that fire or dark? I think it's fire. So yeah, Snake Eye. Ash. I don't mind this, by the way, because I can just sell this. So the thing about this set is all these ultis, I don't really mind because if I pull Ash, I'm going to sell them. If I pull Exodia or or the Waifu, I forgot her name now, um, I'll just keep them. So if I pull more, more Ashes, I can just sell them and buy another box and then try again, essentially. So yes, uh, uh, no ulti is a bad ulti in this, in this set this time around. All right, what do we got? White Prince... Mr. Prince. So we got White Prince, White Princess. And then the Skull Servant. Please in all of them or whatever. Gen X Gaia Triads. Uh, full Armored Xyz. Why is this card in here? Is there even an Xyz archetype doing moderately well? <laughs> uh, currently, can I be like, what are, you, what are you doing with these reprints? Uh, oh, man. Even, even Soul Release. Like, that should have been in the last tournament pack when it was actually you know a tech card i mean maybe, maybe it still is but i know people were freaking out when snake eyes hit the scene and they were trying to find ways to to counter it and soul release is just a really good counter to it uh fire king island okay we'll put that there but yeah that was like at least one tournament pack ago when people were freaking out about it and and the uh konami just took way way too long on on the reprint there uh dino mondo not mundo all right so we are at four alties all in total at least so hmm come on man two more alties and i'll be happy fire king avatar 
noise. That's that's definitely a nod to to Ganesh, right? The the Indian god. Oh no, Infernoid, Infernoid token. I'll take more tokens. I don't mind tokens, but uh, please send me some more deltas. Soul releases would also be pretty decent in my in my book. Uh, Gaia, we got. Wait, is Gaia actually? Okay, yeah, Rock Earth, nice. Because I thought all the G Nexes, Gen Xs, hell yeah, there we go, Delta. I thought all the Gen Xs were Dark, or maybe Wind, or I don't know, I thought they had like one specific attribute. And that might be another ulti, or, or not, that looks terrible, holy, I hope that's not an ulti. Uh, <laughs> dried Winds, this is one of the times where I don't want it to be, okay, thank god. Fall Armored Xyz, I'm like, whoo! Come on, not 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 that not in that pack, not not in that condition. All right, so I think we got ten more packs ish left. Let's see what we can do here. Virtual World, Kyobi, Undyne, and Ganesh, the Ganesh boy. Uh, yeah. So maybe maybe Gen Xs are just different attributes then, because that that uh, last Gen X, Gen X, whatever you wanna, however you wanna call them. The, that one was a water type or attribute. All right, come on, man. One more ulti question mark. One more. Oh boy, I hate doing the pack trick too. It's kind of annoying. That's why I don't do it, even with Pokemon. I guess now you don't really need to. the The newer Pokemon sets have the the better cards in the back, but yeah, it's just kind of annoying uh, to do. It kind of slows the video down too, which I don't necessarily like. Uh, soul release, okay. I th what is it? Five packs for four packs after this one. Okay, come on, man. One more diviner of the herald. Humid winds, ri risen, and a token. Noise. They they gotta be running out of tokens though. I mean, they can't. They can't. There can't be more more tokens left to print. Uh, dried Winds. I guess they could just make them up. They do that for the OCG quite a bit. I actually wouldn't mind that too. Like pr some pro tag tokens in in term tournament packs that would actually drive the value of the set quite a bit because uh, they. I mean, they always do. L look at look at the tokens in the Legacy of Destruction uh, special edition, for example. Like that that was insane <clears throat> for little Yugi. Like damn, people were going crazy. It might have stabilized by now, but. Um, oh, okay, that's the Viner. <laughs> Holy shit. That is so bad. Like, okay. What ulti do you think that is, guys? That's definitely... It's definitely Exodia. I'm gonna obliterate... Oh, it's the Viner. What? What? I mean, I'll take it. I'm not, I'm not complaining. It's just like, holy... There's no... It's, uh... It reminds me of, uh... Who's that Pokemon? It's... Not Diviner of the Herald. Um, anyways, three ulties. Maybe one more here. We'll see. But all, all of them are different as well. So, I mean, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, Blessed Winds. Uh, Dried Winds. And then Fire King Island. Hell yeah. So, at least the box so far is a five ulti box. Which is better than four ulties for sure. Hopefully we can do one, at least one more. Um... Yeah, well, at least one more. Oh, man, these, these are hard to get. I'm not going to do a full recap, guys, because you guys can just check out the other video. I did a full recap there. Uh, but we got Exodia Obliterate. That is awesome, man. That is awesome. Oh, you guys can't even really see it. I'm, t I'm too distracted, guys. I, I was looking at, at it off camera there. Uh, Snake Eye Ash. I do like the foiling on, on, on Ash, to be honest. I like that spiral. But uh, it's a meta card, so I, I feel like i got to get rid of it before the value drops. The Diviner of the Herald is definitely something I like. I might actually showcase this. Oh, man, the, the stamping on this one is really bad. That is... I kind of like it, though. I mean, it's, like, so bad. It's so bad it's good, if that makes sense. But, uh, hell yeah. That is the video, guys. Catch you guys in the next one.